What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news surrounding Destiny 2. So let's go. So according to Kotaku, Destiny 3 is already in development. Yes, you actually heard that right people. Now when it comes to reliable sources, Kotaku and Jason Schreier are one of the most trusted and reliable sources outside of Bungie. If you want to believe in any leaked info, trust in Kotaku. So this is what's said. There is of course nothing wrong with reintroducing good ideas that had previously been cast aside. Strike scoring was cool, private PvP matches were fun, 6 v 6 Crucible matches were chaotic but plenty enjoyable and there can be little doubt that Destiny 2 needs more Crucible playlists in general. But the more of Destiny 2's past that Bungie injects into Destiny 2, the clearer the future comes into focus. Not just for the rest of 2018, but beyond. Given what we already know about the 10 year franchise deal Bungie made with publisher Activision, it seems safe to assume that all this will happen at least one more time down the road, presumably with a game that will be called Destiny 3. Kotaku News editor Jason Schreier tells me he hears that Destiny 3 is indeed already in development as expected. Now the full post on this can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out, definitely worth a read. Now to me this is confusing as heck, why the heck would they be working on a third game when the second game is in dire help? I mean Bungie, if any of you somehow stumble across this video, fix the f*** up. Yes I do agree planning for the future is something of importance, but you might not even have a future with the franchise if you don't fix the game that's only 5 months old. No one is going to buy a new game when your current one is broke. It's like ordering from the same takeaway for a third time after the first two times you've got food poisoning. Nobody does that. Honestly I don't think I know anyone who will straight up tell me that at this moment in time they would purchase another Destiny game. Not with the state the current one's in. Most people I know now tell me that if they could, they will get a refund on Destiny 2. And it's sad to hear that. It's actually true. I can see it now. We will be playing Destiny 3 in a few years thinking of how good Destiny 2 was. Imagine that. Actually, I can't because with this game's current state, that won't ever happen. Okay, so we're going to move on before I punch myself in the face. According to another tweet by Christopher Barrett replying to Chris Cross, it seems as though strike specific loot might be returning. Chris asks this, don't know if you answered this, but any word on strike, a last sector specific loot being worked on? Barrett replied with, more thematic loot that drops from named bosses and unique activities is definitely something we're planning to add. So that is good news, giving us reason to play Strikes for sure. Now there is no date stamp here. This is something we might not see until way after the January update. I'm just glad they are finally realising that this is what this game needs. This is what we want as Destiny players. We want reason to grind and play. Because at the moment, I go on once a week to check out Zer and that fated Engram and that is about it. Faction Rally though I'm sure will bring me back for the next few days. Now onto faction rallies, it comes later today at a time which should be reset, but nope. Bungie helped tweet this, Destiny 2 will be brought offline today for server maintenance in preparation of hotfix 1.1.1.3. Expected duration is 10am PST to 12pm PST. So for those of you who are wondering, this is around 2 or 3 hours after the normal weekly reset. I mean guys, why don't they do this update the day before? Wouldn't that make more sense? Why are updates always on the day of reset and the days of content drops? I know obviously it makes things easier on Bungie's behalf, but come on, we need this now, stop making us wait even longer. Now guys, have you ever noticed this? I can't say that I have. I mean, I don't take much notice these days anyway, but pointed out to me by PJ on Twitter. When you go to infuse certain items, it states that the max said items can be infused to is a 360. Now obviously this could be just a bug and most probably is. I just thought there could be something more of it. I have been told that before the Curse of All Souls dropped, this used to say a 355. Weird. Now to end the video, what happened to the Prometheus lens? They nerfed it into the ground and said until they can play test it more, it will stay nerfed. Well, they've had plenty of time to play test this and fix this weapon and bring it up to a balanced level. So I wonder what's happening. Let's just hope it doesn't fall into that category of exotics, bungee nerf and ruin and just leave them be. If that is the case, I want my shards back from Zer. But yes guys, we have come to the end of the video. 
Tell me what you think about what I've mentioned in today's video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.